Okay, express each number in terms of i. We want to take out the square root of negative 1 any way we can and make it i instead. So here's how we're going to do this. I want to split this up this way so we have room. So 5 times the square root of negative 100. Here's how we're going to break this up. 5 is going to stay out there. I'm going to divide negative 100 by negative 1 and just leave that in there. It's going to look like this. 100 times negative 1. All right. So I know when I multiply two things underneath a square root sign, I can just make it the product of two square roots. So I'm going to rewrite it like that. 5 square root of 100, square root of negative 1. Okay. Now let's deal with this part right here. Square root of 100 is 10. So really this is 5 times 10 times the square root of negative 1. Well, 5 times, 50, 5 times 10 is 50. Square root of negative 1. And I know the square root of negative 1 is just i. So this now becomes 50 i. And that's how you do that. Okay, let's do this next one. Let's just do the same thing we just did. So we have 8 times the square root of 4 times negative 1. Now all I did was divide this by negative 1, or factored out the negative 1. Okay, let's keep going. I know that this is the product of two square roots. Okay, the square root of 4 is 2. 8 times 2 is 16. Square root of negative 1 is just i, and we're done. Wasn't too bad, right? Okay, the last one here, square root of negative 50. We're going to do the same thing. 50 times negative 1. Okay, now this is not a perfect square, but let's rewrite it as the square root of 50 times the square root of negative 1. But... I can take out a perfect square of 50. Can anybody think of any perfect square that goes into 50? Give you a second to think about it. Did you get 2 times 25? Square root of or 25 is a perfect square, and I can take the square root of 25. So I'm going to rewrite this as the product of 3 radicals. Square root of 25 is 5. I can't take the square root of 2. And I know the square root of negative 1 is just i. Now remember, the i is outside of the square root. It's right next to it. It's not underneath it. So don't be tempted to write it underneath the square root. It's not there. And that's how you rewrite or express numbers in terms of i.